Hello everyone, this is Jeff with Flater Mouse. A much requested round is the 308. How many hard drives will this round go through? I think you need a bigger scope for this range. <laughs> I can't even find that thing. Darren is shooting the AR-10 today, which is basically the big brother of the AR-15. Since so many viewers have said we need to prevent the hard drives from moving around, so we put a giant block of cement behind these things and we put duct tape on them, and if we do that, it's gonna make them go through twice as many hard drives. So let's see. Okay, there's one. And once I got used to the trigger pulls. But yeah. And two, it's starting to come apart. See, what are they called? Sierra Match Kings? Yeah. You, you went through the platter. I think you, it was a good shot. And by three, it's tearing it up. Are they like hunting rounds or? Supposed to be target rounds. Okay. Four. And that's, you can start seeing jacket in there. And there, yeah, you can definitely, that's, it went through four. That's it, man. If he had like armor piercing rounds or something, and then five, there's there's pieces of magnet. That's a magnet there, I think. He hit a hard spot, I think. He started going through the magnet or something. Yeah, that's the round. It's a kind of a match grade bullet. How many grade? 175 or not bad. Let's open up the hard drive and have a look inside. You'll notice that the bullet fragment is gone. I don't know where it went, somewhere between where we were shooting and when I got home, the bullet fragment is gone. Now this particular bullet, as we said, was a match grade bullet. It has a pretty thin jacket on it and a hollow point. But still, it's a lead core bullet and really shows you the difference between the armor piercing or steel core rounds that we've shot with other rifles. Well, I hope you enjoyed this more than Keyboard Carl did. He never has anything good to say. Thanks for watching.